Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Boys with another tutorial for you. This time we're going to be talking about the various types of computer mice. You might be wondering which one to buy and it really depends on what you're using it for. There are several factors and features to consider when buying a mouse and we're going to go through a bunch of them here. The first thing to consider is the manufacturer and I'm not going through any of these in any particular order. So brand name is one thing to consider and you might have a preference over one brand but it really doesn't matter so much. The more money you're spending is going to affect that a little bit. I've seen with different components that there's some cheap stuff made by different manufacturers and you spend a bit more money, they put a bit more effort into it and you have a little better quality. But there's more to it than just quality, but we're gonna get to that and jump in ahead a bit. So brand name might be one thing that you're looking at, but it does narrow down your options or your other options a little bit more if you're tied to one particular brand. The second thing to consider is your budget. You could spend anywhere from $5 to $250 or more on any given mouse. And more money doesn't necessarily mean that it's a better mouse. It may just mean that it's a lot more features and fancy looking and all the bells and whistles, but doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be better than one of the less expensive ones. The third thing to consider is the type of mouse or the category. And there's basically five different categories to choose from. The first one is gaming. And basically, if you're a gamer, you're probably going to want to look at a mouse that's built for gaming because it's got a lot of extra buttons that are programmable, plus the features and the feel of it, how it works. It's just got a lot more to it that's made specifically for gaming. The second type is productivity and it's a little bit kind of hard to determine what exactly is productivity. It, it's got to have the basic features there. You got a left click and a right click and a scroll button maybe in the middle and it, it's got to have a, a comfortable feel for it so that you can work with it all day long because it's meant to be productive with so you don't want something that's going to make your arm or wrist tired. That kind of leads into the next type which is ergonomic and really if you're using the computer that much and especially you want to be productive then I really think the ergonomic is the way to go because when you're holding your hand a certain way for a long period of time you can develop all kinds of issues in the long run with your wrist and so you might want to look into some of these and there's some funny looking mice that are designed for ergonomic but instead of having your hand straight like that which is typical uh, it'll be on an angle more resting position or in the one in this picture your hand is actually sideways which is a lot more natural and more comfortable over the long term there's trackball mice as well so instead of having to move the mouse around on the table or on your desk then you would just be using your thumb or one of your fingers to move the ball around. So then your hand isn't moving at all. Your hand stays stationary and that helps as well as far as ergonomics go. The fifth type is mobile. And really, if you have a laptop and you're taking it out on the road, instead of using the trackpad that's built onto the laptop, you might want to have a mouse to carry with you. So having a small little one like this it actually has Bluetooth ability in a lot of them or wireless and it's compact so it's meant to be small so that you can easily take it with you, throw it in your laptop bag. The fourth thing you might want to consider is the sensor. So they got optical and laser. Now for the most part, most people won't know the difference. You won't be able to tell the difference unless you're doing something that's requiring a very high level of precision work. So the standard mice are optical and the optical does about 3000 DPI or dots per inch. Laser will give you about 6000 to 15000 DPI's or dots per inch. So it's a big difference in how very detailed it is when moving the mouse pointer around. But again, unless you're doing some high intense uh, graphics type design or 
stuff I probably won't even think of here. Maybe you can comment below what you might need to have high precision for. But really, for the most part, what most people need is just be able to navigate the mouse around on the screen and optical is more than sufficient. Connectivity is the next thing to think about. If you're fine with having a cable draped across your desk or you can fish it through somewhere, then a USB works great. You don't have to worry about batteries running out or any of that stuff. Wireless and Bluetooth are the other one. So with the wireless, you'll have a USB stick of some sort that comes with it. You plug the USB stick into the computer and then your mouse can communicate wirelessly to the computer. If you don't want to have that, you could go with a Bluetooth so it doesn't tie up any USB ports, but you got to make sure that your computer has Bluetooth ability. Most computers today do have Bluetooth ability come with them, but just in case your computer is a little bit older, you might want to check that before you spend the money and buy a Bluetooth mouse just to find out that it doesn't work. There's a whole bunch of other features that you might want to think about, like the color of the mouse or if it lights up, what colors it flashes and changes, and if it's programmable, how much can be programmed. So it's up to you what you're looking for, and some of these other features might be important to you. So I hope with this video, you've got a good understanding of some of the options out there for buying a mouse. And if you did find this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.